Welcome back, friends. You're just in time for the Johnny Brew Show. I'm your host, Johnny Brew. <clears throat> it's early, man. Damn it. I got stuff to do later, so I gotta knock this show out. Early before breakfast. That's not a problem at all, right? Having a beer before breakfast? Not really. Uh, real quick, thanks to the special... Uh, special... Thanks to the Podcast Producers Guild um, for putting this show on, the Johnny Brew Show. Uh, we almost had the Eddie Hamilton show, almost, yesterday. And, uh, of course, the U.S. Integrity Project slash Nevada Integrity Project and the flagship of the Podcast Producers Guild, the uh, PAA Podcast, which you can watch every night at 10 p.m. Pacific Time, Saturday nights. Integrity starts at 9. Is that right? Doesn't sound right. That sounds right. Yeah, I might have to record Integrity before I go out tonight, too. Got a birthday party to go to. But PAA will be live at 10. That's when we do it, right? Yeah. It's too early. Anyway, let's get right to it. As promised, George Killian's Irish Red. Uh, I had my first Killians back in the day when I was in the Navy. So back in like 93 or 4, I think, I would have grabbed one there uh, when I was in Newport News. They had a grocery store that was selling various beers. I had no idea at the time, but I was just looking through the um, Wikipedia. I think at that time I was actually drinking real Killians. Um, let me look real quick. So I can't remember quite the year when... There's a movie called Beer Wars. So let's see when when these twats bought it. And let's see. Beer's named yeah, I know who it's named after. Good guys, so many numbers. In the mid eighties in the mid eighties course bought the rights to the use the brand name. Okay, so I was buying I've never had a Killian's. I've never had a proper Killian's. I, this is the American version of Killian's. I'm gonna pour a little bit in a dirty uh Mason jar, just to see. Yeah, it is pretty red. Now, in this movie, The Beer Wars, they uh, explain how there used to be three companies, now there's two, Budweiser and now Miller Coors. But at the time, there were three, and they were buying up any intellectual property, beer-related, and, uh, and then doing it on the cheap. So your, um, oh, what's the shit from fucking Pennsylvania, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, whatever that uh, old Latrobe Brewing Company, can't remember the name of the beer now, but uh, they bought that at Rolling Rock. They bought Rolling Rock. They moved it to their brewery in uh fucking St. Louis and called it the Old Latrobe Brewing Company. So it was still being brewed at the Old Latrobe Brewing Company now in St. Louis, Missouri. Nobody paid attention to that part. So <clears throat> this is basically a Coors with food dye and um, flavoring in it. Uh, they explain how the food scientists have been able to replicate any flavor. Almost. Pumpkin beers. Uh, coffee beers, uh, espresso infused beers. The the big two now have like taken those and 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 created cheaper versions of it. Thus, you know, fucking it up. You know, just like the sparkling water thing that they have now. All the alcohol infused water. That's really nasty. Um. Yeah. Now that I know who owns it, I don't think I would have liked it anyway. It's very. I don't know who would like the flavor of that. They they have a thing on their website here real quick. I'll show you. You want to see their propaganda for this horse shit. They, uh, sorry for the sniffles. Yeah, learn about food pairings. It's all garbage, I'm sure. Just have some, I don't know. Let's see. 
It's always a different flavor from the bottle, right? Mm. Fine Killians. Anywhere Coors is sold. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, never did. <clears throat> never really had many. Uh, R.I.P. to George Killian led in the score the third. He died in Ireland in December of 2010. This an originally this was originally an Irish ale called Inniscore the Ruby Ale and brewed from 1864 to 1956. So it was passed on in the family. And then um, in Europe, it's owned by Heineken, which is the same shit. But they have a higher alcohol percentage in in uh, Europe. So there you go. I guess I'll drink the rest of it. Don't want any beer to go to waste, but. Thanks for watching the uh, Johnny Brew Show. We've got four more episodes in this season before we have to buy a new six-pack. More stories about my personal stories about these beers and and uh, my review of them. So, yeah, George Killian's, eh, not so good. Not so good for breakfast, maybe better for dinner. Let's see. Welcome back, friends. P.A.A. 10 p.m. tonight. The Johnny Blue Show.